Pod Chef Show. My name is David and I am the One Pot Chef. On today's show, we will be making a classic dessert that's not only easy to put together, but cheap. In fact, so cheap it's less than 50 cents a serve. It's of course the traditional bread and butter pudding. Now, I use the word traditional probably not as traditional as usual. This is one of my sort of cheetahs versions because Basically, if you're in a situation where you've got to come up with dessert real quickly, you're not going to be sitting there making it from scratch, you're going to have a few shortcuts. This is it. Basically, you've got your bread and your butter, as you would like butting, buttering, uh, just as you would like buttering uh, sandwiches. I've used canola margarine. Basically, we just arrange the bread in a container. This is just a small one that I'm putting together. Ordinarily, you'd make a bigger one if you were making it for any amount of people. And you just cut your pieces to size so you don't leave any gaps. There's another piece to go in there. So basically, you've got it all filled up like that. That's one layer. Now, to each layer, we're going to be adding a sprinkling of cinnamon. Absolutely non-negotiable. Cinnamon is the best thing to add to this pudding. So just a light sprinkle like that. And we're also going to be adding a handful of sultanas. As much as you like. That should be plenty for one layer. Oops. I'm trying to escape. Oh, I've lost one inside. Never mind, I'll pick it up later. Okay, so we've got one layer done. We just continue to layer over the top covering up any of the side pieces like this with alternating layers and we just continue like that until we fill the dish okay so we filled our dish that's about three layers and we put sultanas in between each and cinnamon now we can just pop that aside for the moment because we're going to start on the custard mix now into our jug we are adding the yolks of five eggs don't use the whites Keep the whites for another recipe, just stick them in the freezer. They'll be good for next time. Okay, now adding to that, we are going to add about half a cup of sugar. Actually, maybe about a quarter, because we'll see. And just whisking that in. Now we'll put the half cup in, in there. Okay, and just whisking that up. Look at that lovely colour, beautiful. Okay, so into that we're also going to add about one to two teaspoons of vanilla essence. This is imitation, I didn't have real vanilla. Just a little bit, not too much, otherwise it will be way overpowering. Let's mix that in. Lovely. And we're going to be adding some cream. This is 500 mils just a little at a time and then mix and as you mix it you'll see it keeps that lovely golden colour because basically what we're making here is real custard I say real custard, custard made of eggs and cream as opposed to that horrible packet mush made of god knows what just a little bit at a time, we can add it more as we go Okay, so we've got our custard there. If you have a look, it's still got that lovely colour to it. It's a much paler colour, obviously, but that's still just about what we're looking for. Okay, and we're just going to pour that over our layers of bread, very slowly, bit at a time, because we don't want it to go over the sides. I may have made a little too much custard. Since I'm so used to making bigger ones, but I haven't got a bigger container at the moment, so bear with me. You might have to halve this recipe, although if you're making a bigger one, you might not have to. <laughs> okay, oh actually, that's not too bad. Just a little time, make sure you get all the sides filled up. Actually, that's pretty much close to what we're looking for. Oh, how's that? I flipped it two for two. Okay. So if we have a look at that, that's all nice and full. There's about probably a half centimetre gap at the bottom, or the top rather. 
Now we just leave that on the side for about 10 to 15 minutes. That way the bread will start to absorb the custard. And once we've done that, we pop it into the oven at about 170, 180 degrees for around about half an hour until it goldens up. Uh, you can test it by putting a skewer in the middle to see whether or not it's still liquidy. Uh, once it's fully cooked, take it out. You can serve it hot or you can reheat it later or you can serve it cold with some fresh fruit and ice cream. Uh, we'll put this into the oven now and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. And this is the finished result. Beautiful bread and butter pudding, crispy on the top and lovely and soft on the bottom. And I can't resist, I've got to have some right now. Oh dear. That was a very good. Here we go. Mmm. That was so good. Pardon me. Mmm. <laughs> Guys, you're going to love this. You have got to have some of this. So get your bread, get your eggs, get out of there and do it. Make it.